Good afternoon. This is your News for Now update. I'm Kay Ingram. And first up, the FDNY is mourning the loss of a lieutenant EMS worker murdered on the job. It was a seemingly random and unprovoked attack. This here is a look at bunting hung outside the station house in Astoria, where EMS Lieutenant and 9-11 first responder Allison Russo Elling worked. News for us, Tracy Strahan's here with the latest. Tracy. NYPD detectives still don't have a motive in the death of that beloved EMS paramedic. The man accused of murdering her is in custody. Now, this is a look at the mugshot of Peter Zasupolis. He was taken into custody in the vicinity of his apartment in Astoria, Queens. He's facing charges, including murder for the death of Allison Russo Elling, who authorities say was stabbed 20 times and left for dead Thursday afternoon. Now, this all happened outside of the station house in Astoria, where the 61-year-old worked Thursday afternoon. She was suddenly attacked from behind and stabbed several times, and later pronounced dead after being rushed to a local hospital. Now, there was a somber salute from members of the FDNY's EMS unit as her body was taken by ambulance away from the Mount Sinai Queens Hospital. Now, that victim was a beloved mother and a grandmother and eligible to retire from her job within the next several months. That's the very latest from Astoria, Queens. We'll send it back to you. Thanks, Tracy. And this just in from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Chopper 4 shows you where a car slammed into an NJ Transit bus. It happened just before 11 o'clock this morning. There are reports of injuries, but it's not clear how many people were hurt. Police are trying to figure out what caused the crash. Chopper 4 was also over Union, New Jersey, where a car slammed into an office building. It hit a gas line just outside on Springfield Avenue this morning. We're waiting to find out if anybody was hurt or what caused the driver to lose control. All right, next, we're seeing some wild graffiti on the Upper East Side at the Russian Consulate. This is on East 91st Street. Police say it happened just after 1.30 this morning. Red spray paint pretty much covers the entire facade of the first floor. Now, right now, there are no arrests, but police say they are investigating it at all of possible for a possible bias incident. Now, one of Russia's most powerful oligarchs and three associates have been criminally charged here in New York. They're accused of conspiring to violate U.S. sanctions. Oleg Deripaska is highly sanctioned by the U.S. government and is accused of working with others to ensure his girlfriend's child was born here in the United States and received U.S. citizenship. As a result, a woman from Jersey City was arrested. She's accused of helping the girlfriend get into the U.S. to give birth to his child. Investigators say she also deleted records after getting a grand jury subpoena. All right, right now, some nonprofits on Long Island are gathering supplies to ship to Florida. Island Harvest keeps a supply of emergency aid at a warehouse in Melville. Five years ago, those supplies and personnel were sent to Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. A pet supply drop-off point is also set up at the North Shore Animal League in Port Washington. Everything donated here will go to Florida. More help from our area is on the way for people affected by Hurricane Ian in Florida. The Red Cross in Greater New York is deploying an emergency response vehicle and volunteers to support ongoing relief efforts. Right now, about 730 disaster workers are on the ground in Florida, supporting those in need, with more workers on the way. The Met Museum will honor late fashion icon Karl Lagerfeld at next year's gala. Anna Wintour made the announcement this morning at a press conference in Paris. The exhibit, titled Karl Lagerfeld, A Line of Beauty, opens in May. It'll have 150 works from him. Check of our afternoon weather. Uh, forget about fashion. You're going to need an umbrella as we head into tomorrow. Right now, we have 60 degrees on the thermometer. Calm winds, dew points at 43. But those clouds are going to be ever present as we head through the afternoon. And in the wee hours of the morning, that's when those showers are going to begin to roll on through. These are going to be the remnants of Ian working their way up through the northeast. We take a look right now as we head to the Carolinas. And you can see we have several severe warnings pushing through that area. Surge is also also going to be an issue. It's going to begin to climb into our region. We could get a healthy dose of one to two inches. And in some areas locally, we could get two to three. Flooding could be a concern Saturday. Some showers potentially stick around through Sunday. And as we head into next week, much more comfortable, pleasant conditions. Kay. Thanks, Dave. All right, you heard him. Make sure to find that umbrella. Well, that's it for now. I'm Kay Ingram. We'll be back with another update for you in 30 minutes. See you then.
Good afternoon, I'm Kay Ingram. This is your News For Now update. And we're following breaking news out of Nassau County. That's where fire crews are looking into a boiler explosion at North Shore University Hospital in Manhasset. It happened a little after 11 this morning at a non-clinical building on Community Drive. You can see glass and a door was blown across a parking lot. Firefighters say someone was working on the boiler in the basement when it exploded. At least one person was hurt, but not too badly. Hospital operations were not impacted. We'll have more coming up on News 4 at 4. Now over to Brooklyn, where streets are still blocked off as investigators look into a police shooting that started with a different incident near Mayor Adams' apartment. News 4's Romney Smith is in bedside with the latest. Romney? Police have been here investigating for more than 12 hours after those shootings happened. At first, around 9.30 yesterday night, police say at the corner of Kashuko and Broadway, two men were shot. The 33-year-old and 44-year-old were both taken to the hospital, and the officers arrested the suspect and located a gun they believe was used in that shooting. During the rest of their investigation, they saw another suspect, this time at the corner of Van Buren and Patchen Avenue. Cops chased that suspect and wound up shooting him as he was trying to enter an apartment complex. That victim also taken to the hospital. Right now, police are still trying to investigate. We are waiting for clarity on how the two scenes are exactly connected, but this will be here certainly investigating for the rest of the day. We are in bed Romney Smith, News 4 New York. Thanks, Romney. All right, happening within the next 10 minutes, the New York City Council is expected to hold an oversight hearing to look at the resources and services the city's providing for asylum seekers. Those include the new tents being built for migrants at Orchard Beach in the Bronx. This is chopper video just into the newsroom of those tents that appear to be almost complete. The council's committee on immigration is set to hear updates from Mayor Adams' administration. There's also a rally expected today at City Hall to protest the tents in Orchard Beach. That all gets underway at one o'clock. And still more ahead, Hurricane Ian will cause a wet weekend for many of us. Storm Team Forward Dave Price has your forecast next. And now a check of your afternoon weather. We have winds up to 14 miles per hour in Queens right now. Clouds throughout the five boroughs. Temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s. Outside right now, the skyline of Manhattan shows those gray skies beginning to prevail. We'll see that continue through the rest of the evening. And winds, which are going to be in the single digits. Now, things do pick up later into the overnight when rain comes our way. And tomorrow, it looks like this rain or the remnants of Ian arrive in our area. Right now, battering Charleston and working their way up the eastern seaboard. For Saturday, periods of heavy rain, one to two inches likely, maybe more so in some locations out to the island or towards the Jersey Shore. Less rain as you go inland and gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour are possible. Saturday, not a great day. Sunday does get better. Uh, it looks like you'll be able to get outside. We could see some scattered showers, and maybe even hanging into Monday. Better weather as we head through the rest of the week, Kay. Thanks, Dave. And coming up at four, how would you like to fly to London in 80 minutes? Minutes. We'll tell you about the new supersonic plane that just might get you there. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you back here next time. And be sure to tune in to News 4 New York at 4. Have a good afternoon.